Hey guys, what's up? My name's Ines. I write kissing books, and today I'd like to share a writing tip with you. Here it goes. Today we're going to embark upon the exploration into the very heart of romance novels, the crafting of an unforgettable romance heroine. That's easy. If you're a female author, make her just like you because you are awesome. Because your heroine is going to be as awesome as you, I want to focus on what could trip you up if your character isn't like you so she doesn't venture into the realm of the unlikable. In the realm of romance writing, an unlikable heroine doesn't mean a poorly written character. Instead, it could be a character with traits that traditionally might not endear her to readers. However, these traits, when executed well, can provide depth and create a more complex, realistic protagonist. But there's a fine line, and sometimes certain characteristics might truly alienate readers. Let's discuss some common characteristics often associated with unlikable heroines. Number one, self-centeredness. An excessive focus on herself without consideration for others can be off-putting. This includes being oblivious to the feelings or needs of those around her, especially the hero. Number two, constant pessimism. While it's realistic for characters to have moments of self-doubt and negativity, a heroine who is persistently pessimistic without growth or reason, she can be challenging for readers to root for. Number three, lack of growth. A static character who doesn't learn or evolve or grow, especially after making mistakes, she can be frustrating to follow. Number four, overly jealous or possessive. While a touch of jealousy can add drama, an overly possessive or jealous heroine can come off as immature or untrusting. Number five, TSTL, too stupid to live. This term is used in the romance community for characters who repeatedly make foolish decisions, especially ones that put her in unnecessary danger without a believable reason. Number six, inconsistency. If a heroine's behavior or beliefs fluctuate without explanation, it can confuse or alienate readers. For example, if she's established as independent, but suddenly becomes overly reliant without cause, it can be jarring. Number seven, relentless victim mentality. While it's okay for a character to face hardship, a constant woe is me attitude without taking action can be wearying. Number eight, lack of authenticity. A heroine who constantly pretends to be someone who she's not without it being a purposeful plot point can be a hard character to connect with. Number nine, unjustified cruelty. Cruel actions or words towards others, especially without remorse or reason, can make a heroine unpalatable. And number 10, lack of agency. A heroine who lets others consistently make decisions for her or doesn't stand up for herself when it's out of character can be seen as weak or again, frustrating for the readers to root for. Now, sometimes writers intentionally craft complex, flawed heroines to challenge the traditional norms or to set up a character growth arc. The key is ensuring that there's depth, rationale, and development behind these traits. Readers might be willing to stick with a difficult or challenging heroine if they can see potential for growth or if they can understand the reasons behind her behavior. Do you need help planning your next heart-pounding romance? You can download my free romance roadmap at anesswrites.com forward slash romance map. And I'll be back soon with another tip on how to write a binge-worthy novel. I'll see you then. Bye.